Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be kind of, I feel like this might be a little confusing. So it's not really if I had to start my collection all over again, but if I can kind of just redo the beginning. I don't know if that makes sense. So the way that I'm thinking about this is looking at the bags that I have now already and all the bags that I still want, if I can just clear out my entire collection and just re-pick bags in each of these categories, what bag would I pick to be kind of like my starter pack? I feel like this is very personal. I feel like it would be very different for everybody, but I thought I would share. So let's just get straight into it. Alrighty, so the seven categories are going to be an everyday bag, a top handle bag, a crossbody bag, a backpack, a classic bag. A, I put the category as beauty because it's basically kind of like a bag that you don't need but you just love to look at. And then a trendy bag. So those are my seven categories. Alrighty, so let me put out a disclaimer. So remember, this is the list of bags that I would hit for each category. If I had to get rid of all my bags now and restart them knowing what I already know and what I already want, this would be kind of like my starter pack for the bags that I would use to just kind of start up my collection. It's kind of similar to when you're buying makeup. When you first start up buying makeup, you need a foundation, a concealer, a powder, brows, lip balm, blush, and bronzer type thing. You have to get at least one of each category and then that's when you start buying like five other blushes or four other bronzers. You don't need all of those, but you just like to have your options. So if I could basically just redo my entire bag collection knowing what I already know this is what i would fill for each category to kind of like restart so the first category is going to be an everyday bag so if i could re-choose my everyday bag it would definitely be a celine cabas tote and probably the medium size over the smaller size i don't know there's just something like i can't stop thinking about the cabas tote one i love that it's all leather so you know that's gonna last a really long time i love how subtle the branding is on the cabas tote it literally just says Celine and then Paris and it's just I love it it's like you know how there's some places where you kind of don't really want to take a designer bag but all you own is designer bags I don't know if you feel that struggle but there's just some areas like you don't feel comfortable bringing a bag like you don't want to feel targeted so I feel like the Cabas tote is really nice because if you just flip it over on one side it could just look like a regular leather bag no branding no nothing and I love that it comes in different colors I felt it in person I can't say with the longevity of it but that would be be a perfect everyday bag i feel like it's not too big the branding is really subtle i don't know the, just the overall shape of it it's really casual you can bring it to the beach go to the market it's like you don't really have to worry about the bag if i just put it on the beach in the sand like i don't really have to worry about it it just seems like a very low maintenance bag is what i mean by it i feel like it's perfect also for every day because you can just throw everything let's say you're running late to class or you're running late to work you can just chuck everything in there it's not like a cross body where you kind of have to position everything inside really nicely for you to even just leave the house because it's not going to close does that make sense so yeah i love that it just looks very casual perfect for every day but you can at the same time bring it for dinner because hello it's a celine bag so yeah all right so the next category is top handle and i was debating between two top handle bags if i can just like go back in time and put my money in this i totally would it would definitely definitely be a chanel trendy cc bag not the coco handle but the trendy cc there's just something about the gold plating on the top and then just the way that the like quilting looks Ugh, it just looks so good and in so many different colors as well like they have it in the black gray peach i've seen this like beautiful caramel tan color oh my goodness the more that i watch videos on it the more that i see pictures of it i just feel like it's so beautiful and i just really 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 want it in my collection that would definitely be the top handle bag that i would number one get like without a doubt if i could just redo everything not saying that i don't like the top handle bags that i have now but if i had to prioritize a top handle bag it would definitely be the chanel trendy cc i just it's not a casual bag at all, but you can totally dress it down if you wanted to. Just imagine just jeans, a white blouse, and then a trendy CC, and just to go shopping or something, like your outfit would just be a 10 out of 10. So yeah, so definitely be a trendy CC. Alrighty, so the next category is crossbody. So if I can redo my collection, the first crossbody I would get would definitely be a Chanel mini rectangular. <sighs> I feel like we all know how much I love this. This has been on two of my wish lists. I obviously like I still want it. Like that is just 
oh, just everything about it it's mini which i love it's crossbody which i also love and it's chanel which hello i love and they have so many different styles of it they use it with tweed chevron lambskin caviar just the normal quilted it denim there's just so many different ways that they've made the Chanel Mini and the price point of it, I feel like is a little unfair. They do that because they know everybody wants it. It's like how classic Chanel is and they kind of turn it a little modern spin on it by making it mini. I mean, obviously the mini squares and the mini rectangulars are very classic. On top of that too, a Chanel mini rectangular, you could literally dress it up or down. On top of that, if you've seen any reviews on it, you know that you can fit so much in a Chanel mini rectangular, so it's not even an impractical mini bag. Like my Dior Nano pouch is an impractical mini bag. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like it's just so stunning and it's just so perfect. Perfect. one day one day just watch by the time i get a chanel mini rectangular it's gonna be like five thousand dollars for this tiny little thing wouldn't be surprised wouldn't be surprised okay guys a quick interruption so i need to hold dior on my lap because she keeps barking when i'm filming and i'm really really sorry so if you see like her little ears coming up it's just i have no choice it's either i film this video or she's barking while i'm filming so here we are so the next category i have are backpacks so this one obviously was a little bit hard for me because i love backpacks but if i really really had to pick one I love the Louis Vuitton Montserrat backpack, but the vintage one. So basically the original version of it. I know they revamped it and re-released it, but it's different. And I know it's like they're trying to do like an updated version of it, but I don't know. I don't really like the way it looks. The smaller one, I can kind of deal with, but it's just not the same. I just really, really wish that they just re-released the original one. The original one just looks so perfect and classic with the vachetta on the bottom i feel like they got rid of the vachetta on the bottom because that's where a lot of the staining and because obviously that's the bottom so it's being placed so that's where you can kind of see all the wear and tear and if it gets water stains or just any type of stains but i liked the way it looked with the vachetta on the bottom and i've seen so many vintage pictures of it and i know people sell it and it's in not the greatest condition but if they came out with a brand new one that would be the first backpack i would buy no question not the urban spear backpack not the palm springs mini like i adore the original and it's so sad when i started getting into luxury bags they discontinued it because obviously like i was younger when i first started getting into bags and they decided to no longer carry it but it's just such a classic backpack i just feel like it's perfect for travel perfect for every day everything about the backpack it's monogram it has vachetta mm, i just i love it i love it i would buy it in a heartbeat if they re-released a brand new i would alrighty so the next category is classic so this one is actually pretty easy for me i would definitely go with the louis vuitton speedy without a doubt no question i feel like most people's first at least 10 years ago let's just bring it back because right now a lot of people's first luxury handbags are very trendy bags sometimes but let's take it back like 10 20 years ago everybody's first luxury handbag was a speedy regardless of if it was a bandolier or just a regular speedy 30 it just it has to be a speedy i would definitely either pick a speedy 30 or a speedy b25 but i'm just putting them together even though like a b25 and a 30 are different obviously i would still put a speedy just overall in the classic category without a question if i had to restart everything i would still buy a speedy even though i know a lot of people say it's not on trend anymore people don't really like the speedy anymore you don't see people wearing it but it's just so classic it can't not be in my handbag collection it just can't and of course i would still get a monogram one i mean my speedy is in the damier bean but i would definitely get a speedy with monogram canvas without a doubt no question so yeah and then the last two categories are trendy and beauty so for trendy this one was actually kind of hard and this one i actually had a really fun time just going through a couple and i was debating between three trendy bags but I think it's going to definitely be the Prada re-edition and I know it's kind of a revamp because it just recently got popular but I still consider it a trendy bag even though it was popular back in the day. I'm personally not really into the Louis Vuitton multi pouchette accessoire. Don't get me wrong, I think that bag is really cute. If someone gave it to me as a birthday present, I would happily take it but to spend my own money to buy it, I just wouldn't. I thought initially if they came out with different colored straps maybe but the price point with what the bag is it just 
is not appealing to me the fact that it's just a bunch of slgs looped in together with that what it's like 18 1900 dollars price tag it's really not worth it to me whereas the prada re-edition yeah you do have that little piece right over here which kind of makes it really eclectic and trendy but the actual bag itself is so just like 90s vibes like i don't know how else to describe it it's just everyone in the 90s wore those bags that were kind of like this shaped i don't know if this has a name for it but it's just kind of like a crescent almost right and yeah it would definitely be the prada re-edition bag would be in the trendy category for me it's just it's so cute i know there's a couple other trendy bags that are really popular but it would definitely be the prada one Alrighty, and then the last category was actually the easiest category for me to pick. I feel like for the category of beauty, it's kind of the bag that you look at and you only take out for special occasions only, but everything about it, the craftsmanship, just it's just beautiful, right? It's just beautiful. So this one was super easy. It would definitely, definitely, without question, be a Lady Dior bag. For me personally, I would pick a mini Lady Dior bag, but any of the sizes is perfectly fine for this category. A lot of people find Lady Dior bags not very practical just because of that kind of flap like to get in and out of it princess diana like she made that bag the it bag and for rightful reasons like it's just so classic and beautiful and i feel like not a lot of people have a lady dior i feel like there's more people that have chanel flaps over lady dior's even though they're both i feel equally classic they're both pretty expensive of course but I just feel like the Lady Dior, I can't see myself wearing it as an everyday bag but only for special occasions if I'm going to like an anniversary dinner or a birthday dinner or it's just kind of like that bag in the center of your bag shelf to just look at and touch from time to time and be like, wow, I really love you and then just kind of, you know, put it back and make it look really nice. I personally really want it in a kind of iridescent pink color but honestly, any of the colors will do it with the hardware. I love that. You can customize it. They have the J'adore like abc where you can kind of personalize the chain which i think is really cool but i don't know there's just something so timeless and beautiful and untouchable about a lady dior bag that i definitely one day want to add to my collection like my actual collection but so if i can redo it like that would be the bag that i would pick to kind of just like my special occasion bag the beauty bag if you will so yeah Alrighty guys, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too confusing. This was really, really difficult, honestly. It took me about at least like two hours to really buckle down and think which bags, if I had to start all over, knowing what I know, what bags would I pick to kind of restart my luxury handbag collection if I just had to just check off all the basics, right? And honestly, I'd be really happy if this was my starting collection so yeah i know there are a lot of categories but let me know in the comments down below your top three bags that if you had to restart your whole collection what categories would you guys pick and which ones would you guys pick for each category so yeah so like always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys say bye dior i think she's just hungry <laughs>